In this tutorial, I will show you how to perform a basic keyword search in the Education Resources Information Center, or ERIC, database. I will be searching ERIC through the ProQuest interface. Continue watching this tutorial after the search for more details on both ERIC and ProQuest. In the ProQuest interface, I will enter my search terms in the boxes located at the top of the page. Different concepts should be entered on different rows, while synonyms should be entered on the same row. So if I am looking for articles on Technology Infusion and Teacher Training, I will enter the first concept, Technology Infusion, in the top search box. This is the first row. The drop-down menu to the right of the search box should be set to Anywhere. This allows me to do a keyword search in the database. Because my concept is a phrase, more than one word, I surround it with quotation marks so the database searches for Technology and Infusion together and not each word separately. I enter the second concept, teacher training, on the second row along with any synonyms for that concept, such as teacher education. The or between the synonyms means that the database will bring back items that include at least one of those phrases, teacher training or teacher education. The word and between rows will combine the concepts. That means that technology and fusion and at least one of the teacher training terms will appear in the results. I am only interested in scholarly journals, so I will limit my results to scholarly journals by checking off the box lower down the page. I am now going to click the search button. When the results appear, I take some time to scroll through and examine the list. Continue this tutorial for more details on ERIC and ProQuest. There are many ways to refine or narrow down my search results using the filters on the right. For example, I am only interested in items published between 2000 to present. I can limit the date range by dragging the scale and clicking update. And if I want to see the most recent material listed first, I can sort results by selecting publication date most recent first and clicking the sort button. I can also select items on my list by clicking on the box to the left of the item to do things like email the citations to myself or export them to RefWorks. If, for example, I am interested in the second article on the list, I can view more information about the item, such as the abstract and subject terms, by mousing over the preview link or by clicking on the title. If the article is available in full text online, I can click on the full text or full text PDF link. If that isn't available, I can click on the Get It UTL button to find a copy at the University of Toronto. Eric, produced by the U.S. Department of Education, is the largest source of education information available and a great place to start your research. The database contains education journals, reports, conference papers, bibliographies, curricula, and theses and dissertations from 1966 to present. You are always welcome to email, phone, or visit in person the OAZ Library for personal research assistance.